This is Kelflick here bringing you another tech video. Are you struggling to use the keyboard and mouse and you really want to use your controller on such as games like The Kaleng to do better? Well, I'm going to show you how to use the Xbox One controller and actually make it a little bit better. As we all know, you can generically just plug in an Xbox One controller and use it on your PC to do gaming, such as like CSGO and The Kaleng. But the problem is the right thumbstick makes you move so slow when you're moving left and right like you're on the sensitivity of maybe three or four. If you're aware of obviously Black Ops 3, you'll know what I mean. It's pretty, pretty slow. So I'm actually going to show you in this tutorial how to change it so the right thumbstick is a mouse and make you super, super fast. So let's get it on. So first of all, what you need to do is open up your browser. In the description below, I'm actually going to put a link. You do need to copy this and paste it in, which is what I'm going to do now. And it will take you to this website. Once you're here, you just need to download on here through your browser. That's what I clicked, download through the browser. And as you can see, it is a raw file. So you do need to have WinZip, 7-Zip or something like that to un uh, to unextract it. I'm not going to do that because I've already actually done that as you probably did see right here. And for demonstration, I put it on my desktop. So double click it. Now, if you've got anything above Windows 7, you will actually need to put this into compatibility mode. So go to properties and then compatibility and tick the box and I've put it into Windows 7. So once you've done that, you can now double click on this smiley controller and open it up. So let me just take you back to the beginning to what you would actually see. So when you actually first open it, this is the first thing you would see. Then you need to click on this little control icon here and click new and it'll bring up this secondary window. Now what you need to do is go back to Google Chrome once again and type in and look for XPADA controller images and click on that and then click on the top link. And I would suggest using one with like the purpley background and I'm going to use this one. Right click it, copy image, close that down, click here on paste and there you go. So once you've done that, now go to your sticks, click enable and now follow the instructions. So it's telling you to press left and then up and now as you can see you can move and it's recognizing that and do the same with the right hand side. So again, left and up, and now I can do it with that. And if you also noticed, as I've done previously, it's already moving, as I've already had this assigned. And then go to the D-pads, enable and follow the same. And the buttons. Now for the buttons, just basically press them and you'll see them up here. And just do that for every button Click that in like a button, click that in like a button, the two front ones and the two triggers. And that's all the ones that you should have on there. Now it's completely up to you if you want to do this, but each of these buttons obviously can be assigned to the image. What I mean by that is you can basically drag it and drop it in. Now if you're a person who may want to change your buttons, because you can save this, and if you want to change it and say, I want this uh, a certain button like A to B crouch instead of jump then maybe this is what you need to do as well it's just basically drag it and put it over the image and then you'll know obviously that when you move it that that is the correct button because if you see on here A is there okay X is there Y is there is there. Move that over there. That's the right one. That's the left one. The thumbstick pressing in like a button is there. That one is there. And that will leave these two there and there, which is correct. Okay. And then go to the last one, which is your triggers and hit enable and it'll just say hold your left hold it right and there you go then go down to OK and it'll leave you with just this box now these arrows here you won't actually see on yours at the moment you need to click on this tool and then go down to where it says mouse normal and click on there and that's actually what gives you control of your mouse on your screen okay 
And that's all you need to do, guys. That's how you get it to work. And now if you play on the culling, you can move the slider from the mouse sensitivity up and down, and you can be deadly accurate and super fast at turning as using this actually does make it really, really sensitive. Like you can just, just barely touch it. And as you can see, it's recognizing the control. So it's super sensitive as well and accurate. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, but please, 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 guys, if you did like this video, I want to try and get this out to as many people as I can. So the more thumbs up I get, the more likes I get for this video. One helps me out a big deal for obviously doing these videos for you guys, but it also helps all the other people that want to play with their Xbox One controller and play their favorite PC Steam games. Well, this is a Capcom Vic signing out, guys. And as always, I salute you. See you next time.